this year there was, uh, I had Patricia and my mom and myself were all diagnosed with cancer. So I felt it really important to uh, participate in the race. They've done a lot. They've raised so much money just by starting with something so small. Yeah, they, they give uh, a lot of free mammograms to women who can't afford it. And they also have brought out, um, everybody knows what Race for the Cure is. Yes, I think we can make a difference in events like that. Yeah, definitely. They already have. They've definitely already made a huge difference. I was diagnosed in March of 2010, so about seven months ago. Well, this is my first time uh, participating in the Race for the Cure, and um, I think what inspired me is, well, because I'm, I was affected by breast cancer, and so many people have cancer of all kinds, breast cancer included, and I just think that it was, uh, it's a good, uh, good thing to be aware of breast cancer, and uh, I think the Susan G. Komen walk is, is makes awareness, uh, gives awareness to so many people. I think that is um, a huge deal. I think that uh, individually it's very difficult, but together as a group, I think you can definitely make a difference. Yes, I've been doing the Race for the Cure for six or seven years now when my friend from high school passed away from breast cancer. So on our 20 year high school reunion, we all walked together in her honor and ever since then I've been doing the walk and walking with my friends. My favorite part is seeing all the people walk together in love and memory of their friends that have passed away and their friends that are survivors. Um, I raced with a group of close girlfriends um, that we all have um, been affected by um, someone either in, in our lives or somebody that um, we know directly who has um, had a had a, uh, I'm sorry, this is a little difficult, has had a person in their lives who's been affected by breast cancer or other diseases. My favorite part of the race was actually not the race itself, but um, there was a point where all of the survivors got up on a huge uh, podium up on the stairs and they talked about, um, they talked about how many people are, are surviving breast cancer and that um, they're living with this and there's many people there who have been um, cancer free for several years and that was very inspirational. There are strength in numbers and um, I, I think we can absolutely make a difference in finding a cure for breast cancer. I had a sister who um, suffered with breast cancer and she lost the battle about you know, five years ago. Uh, this is my third year doing the race and we have a group of girls that have gotten together for um, three years now. I raced with a lot of good friends, two of them were survivors. And um, it's very overwhelming. They do a really neat tribute to the survivors and um, they all sit on the steps and they, at the end of that, they let out some doves in memory of all the women who have succumbed to it. So it's very when you looked at the crowd that day, there must have been 10,000 people just all walking and we had a couple of people that actually was their first time walking and the minute we started the walk and they looked up and saw all these people there supporting it, it's, it's huge. It was a wonderful experience. Well, this year was my first year ever doing the race for the cure. Um, I was inspired um, to do the race this year because my friend Patricia was diagnosed with breast cancer. You absolutely can make a difference. When you get, you know, one or two people together, you know, you get it started. And one or two, by word of mouth, three or four to thousands and thousands. Um, when we did the race, there, there were thousands of people out there. It was amazing to see all those people come out, come together for such a great cause and together raising money and raising awareness, definitely we can make a difference.